Moi everyone and welcome to Finnish Plate. Sea buckthorn or Turnimaria as it's known in Finnish are these really bright orange yellow berries that grow in southwestern part of Finland. They really like the archipelago. They're not really that common but they are pretty popular for their health benefits. Most notably it's their high vitamin C content. You could use these berries in various desserts or today I'm going to make a couple of smoothies using these sea buckthorns which are great as a breakfast or as a snack. I bought these sea buckthorns online. They're frozen. I'll put a link to the description box so you can buy them too. You can also find it in juice form like this. But sea buckthorns, they're pretty tart on their own. So you probably want to add some sort of sweetener to the smoothie that you're making. Smoothies are great though because there's a lot of ways to customize them to your own liking. Like for example, you could use a sweetened yogurt. I have here unsweetened yogurt though. But you could use a uh, fruit juice like this, which is pretty sweet. Or like this one, which is a passion fruit puree with some honey. You could of course use just plain honey. Or if you want to be mindful of the carbs, you could use a sweetener like this erythritol that I have here. So let's make first a breakfast smoothie with some sea buckthorns. So let's put some ice in here first. About a cup of ice. And we'll put a banana in there as well. This one's a very small one. So I'll put a second one in as well. And of course, if your bananas are more ripe, they're going to be more sweet. And now we'll put maybe like three tablespoons of sea buckthorns in there. They can still be frozen or maybe just a little thawed when you put them in. And now we'll add some of this drinkable yogurt, about a cup as well. I'll also add a couple of tablespoons of rolled oats. Just to give it a little bit more body. And just a touch of honey. And now we are just going to blitz this. And we'll taste the sweetness. Does not need any more sugar. It is pretty tart, but actually that's kind of how I prefer it. And put a couple of sea buckthorns on top if they float. They don't really. So there's the first smoothie. So for the second one, let's make it a little bit more tropical. Even though, of course, tropical fruits do not grow in Finland, obviously. They're still very widely available in stores. So Finns do tend to buy them a lot. So we'll start off with some ice again. We'll add some mango nectar. And some passion fruit puree with honey. So about a cup of juice and about a half a cup of this passion fruit puree. Now we'll add a mango in there too. We'll add a cubed mango. Oh my God. And of course, our sea buckthorn. And just a little bit more honey. Yeah. 
And here's some mango passion fruit. Sea buckthorn smoothie. And we'll just add a little bit of passion fruit pulp on the top. And now for the third one, we'll start with some ice again, some orange juice, high pulp orange juice, a sea buckthorns, and some half and half. And a little bit of our yogurt. And then we'll put some erythritol. You could, of course, use sugar instead as a sweetener. A couple tablespoons. And we will mix this again. So if you've ever had Orange Julius, this kind of reminds me of Orange Julius. And let's add a mandarin slice to it as well. And here we go, three different smoothies made from sea buckthorns. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Finish Your Plate.